Hey, day four playing the banjo. Today was my first day back at work after the Christmas and New Year's break. So I didn't really get a lot of practice time except just now. Um, but here's what I worked on. Oh, I'll just let that fall down. Um, so uh, the other day I was trying to think of, so the only two chords that I've learned so far because I haven't looked up any chord charts are the open G and a C. Oh, that's not in tune. Maybe it is. Anyway, um, close enough anyway. Uh, so I was trying to think of what are some songs that I know that only use those two chords. And what came to mind was uh, Heidi Ho by Blood, Sweat, and Tears. My junior year of high school, a marching band did a Blood, Sweat, and Tears themed uh, field show for competitions. And I had never really listened to the music before, but I really enjoyed it. And so that was uh, probably my favorite song of, of the ones that we played. Um, no, that wasn't junior. That was my sophomore year. Anyway, long time ago in either case. So that's in a, kind of a 6-8 feel. So I came up with a uh, 6 pattern. Which that sounds like I'm going to play Oh Holy Night. But anyway, I thought it'd be a good, uh, good test to try playing that and singing at the same time hard enough to try playing and talking at the same time, but... As long as I don't think too hard, it works. Um... <clears throat> So I'll give this a try. I'm not like a great singer, but we'll try. So that went okay, you know, about average for my attempts so far. Um, I know I got off my plucking pattern uh, a couple of times, and I'm sure the tempo jumped around as I tried to figure out where I was supposed to put all my fingers and my voice next. But uh, I thought it went okay. Um, <laughs> uh, other news, I did get a new set of strings for this banjo. These are um, the medium weight, so the... It's a 10, 12, 16, 23, and then a 10. So these are actually a little bit lighter than what came on this. Um, so it should, I mean, it's not really hard to, to play or press down because I'm used to like acoustic guitar, which is higher tension. Um, but it should make it easier. I'm still, the reason I, I didn't put those on yesterday, I'm trying to figure out what to do about this um, string height. I don't know if a truss rod should be adjusted or if I just need to lower the bridge. And I'm also not sure how this tailpiece is supposed to be adjusted. Um, if you see here, it kind of floats above. I don't know if you can see it there. But there's kind of a space here. Um, one of the other ones that I looked at, it was basically almost touching the, the head. And I'm not sure exactly where it's supposed to be. So I need to do some research on that. But anyway, that's uh, that's where I'm at for today. I looked up a couple exercises at work um, and on some downtime to see what I can try. And because I didn't have a banjo there to, to try it right away, I don't remember them. But I know some of it was working on like um, strengthening these two fingers, which um, when I play bass, I do I use my ring finger a lot. So I think I've got good strength there. My pinky, I don't use as much. So that could probably use some work. Um, they did vigorously warn not to over-exercise it or damage your tendons. Um, and then just working on that. I think I need to pick up maybe some new rolls to try out because I've got this thing that I just did as well as the forward-backward roll that I learned on the first day, which is... Nope. So 
that's like an eight count roll, so that's all right. Um, anyway, if you have any advice or questions, tips, uh, resources, leave them in the comments, please. I love comments uh, because they help encourage me to keep going because I know somebody's watching. Um, also, if you're interested in watching me learn how to play over however long I stick with this, uh, subscribe to the channel. That'll help me out a lot, uh, again, with the encouragement as well as um, after a certain number of subscribers and other parameters are met, I get to set a custom URL, which I'm excited about. So um, that's all for right now. You have a great day. Thanks for watching.